evening, everyone. I can't hear you. Are you hearing me? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, great. Good evening, um, good evening Miss. Listen. Good evening again. Um, it's good to be with the Grace and Staff Massive once more. As Mr. Sweeney just told you, I have been with Grace Kennedy, and with some of you students, my team will remember me. I'm now. When he says bigger things, he means I'm retired. <laughs> so I'm now a retiree. Okay. Um, listen up. Children's voices matter. I want you all to shout that back at me because you will be talking to adults, parents, teachers, whoever you want to speak to on this topic. So shout it back at me like you're asking me to listen. Children. Listen up, children voices matter. That sounded like one person. Do your voices matter? Yes. 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 Okay, yes, get, get you get used to the topic. Say it like you're saying it to a parent. Listen, children voice matter. Okay, listen up. Listen up. Say that after me. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Oh my. Listen up. You, don't, you don't sound in tune. Oh. We have an essay competition and we're going to have winners of prizes. So say, listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Children's voices matter. Children's voices matter. Okay, that sounds better now. Very good. So I am Miss Cummings, and I'm, I'm very happy to be with you today. Um, what we'll be talking about isn't anything strange, but in this particular matter now, we are going to be looking at tips to get you to write your winning essay. Anybody up for winning a prize? Write yes in the chat. Come on, fill up the chat. Give either give me thumbs up or yes, yes, yes. I see DeAndre. I see Conroy, Beyonce, Dorian, Shamar, Avon, Kamisha, Marcos, Onique. Yes, so everybody wants to win a prize. It means then that we are going to write a very good, what I call a winning essay. All right, so let's, let's get to it. Now, the topic is a very good one for, for children, right? For your age group, as it gives you a chance to say to adults around you, listen to me, right? Now, one of the things you want to do when you're writing your essay is pre-plan the essay. What's that? Pre I see a raised hand. Have on. Pre -plan. Pre -plan. Yes, I want. Have on has a raised hand. Are you hearing me clearly? Yes. Hello? Yes. Okay, so Havan, do you uh, do you need to say something? Okay. No, I think I he had it up and needs to take it down. He had it up earlier. Okay, good. It, it's, oh, it's still there, but now I know why it's there. I just ignore it. Okay, so I started off by saying that before you write your essay, you need to do a little planning, a little pre-plan. From experience, and even from writing at school, some of you will know that when you just take up a book and a pencil and write, unless you're very talented, it doesn't come off very well in the first instance. It's good if you make a plan before you start writing. No, you have this topic and you are going to win a prize. No, you have to get really organized to, to get your essay to that status that you want it to, to be impressive. So you're going to think about the, th the topic thoroughly. What does it mean when I, when I say, when the, uh, when the topic says, listen up? 
who am I speaking to to say, listen to me, all right? You need to think of those things and anything that comes to your mind, right? That you'd want somebody to listen to you about, jot them down. Doesn't to have to be in any sequence at first, but jot down your thoughts on a piece of paper. If you have a notebook, start pre-planning by jotting down. Now, the next thing you need to do is do any kind of research that you think you need to do. Or if you can find anything to read on the topic, if you can ask somebody what they think about the topic, right? So that is what, it's, it's not no big research like how research sounds, all right? So you, you're going to do that. Start writing down. You want to probably um, give a definition of what, what it is to listen. What do you mean by listen to me, right? All right? Something like that. So you want to think about what are the main things you want those persons or you want to listen to you to know? What do you want them to know? What is it you have in your heart or in your mind that you want to say to them about, listen to me, all right? So think about it. Are you going to be informing them of things they might not know about you that you want them to listen to? Are you going to persuade them to listen to me as a child when I speak, all right? So think about all those things and begin to organize your thoughts and findings so that you can write a draft. Does anyone know what a draft is? Show your hand and write it in the chat. What is a draft? Yes, what is a draft? Shamar? What would you say a draft is? I see Shamar um, has written a plan or an idea. Uh, yes, Shamar, very good. Thank you for your answer. It goes a little bit more than that, though. It's actually a pre-writing. It's not the one that you're going to hand in. A draft is more than the idea. It's a, you write out before the one that you're going to, your, your, your A class essay now is going to be the essay. But before you get to that, you, you do a draft, right? The draft allows you to go back and see if, you're, if you have your thoughts in order, if, if um, there is anything else you need to do, um, is, your, is your sentence in structure being made out correctly and things like that. So the draft is a little more. Draft may be a page or half a page, more than the plan, right? But what we're actually talking about, Shama, right now is, 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 a, is a plan, right? And part of the plan is having a draft. If you are skilled and talented in writing, you may not even have to do a draft, but not all of us are skilled in writing. Am I correct? Yes, miss. Yes, sir, yes. Not everybody is skilled. So you, you probably have to go through and do this pre-planning stage that I'm telling you about, all right? So one of the things, even when you do your drive to decide on a format, do we, what, when I talk about a format, I'm talking about the structure of the essay where do you indent each paragraph, right? Or do you use the block format? Anybody knows what the indent format is? It says it, but sure. you can remember us. Hmm? Miss, is it when you're um, when you're at, um a little further from the from the um the river and in, in the book? Right in the margin. When when you come in from the margin, right? Thank you. Very good. Um, and the black one is when you, for each paragraph, you skip a line, but you you stay on the margin. All right. That me? Yes or yes? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so I see Kino. Kino wrote a sketch for the draft. Fine. Thanks, Kino. Very good. Can call it a sketch of what you're going to do. All right. Um, so we talked about the block form and the indented form. So you choose before you write, choose all of this, you know, so that when you get to your final A class essay, all of that is not in your mind. In your mind is the meat of the matter that you're going to write about. 
So now we go on to the structure of the essay. Anybody knows from school what I mean by the structure of the essay? Miss, like how you want the essay to be set out? Oh, you want it to be? To be set, to be set out. Set yeah. out. Great, great, good, very good. Anybody else? Miss, how the essay is built? Um, how is it? How is how it's built? I see some yes. things coming in the chat, man. All right, somebody says flow, William. The flow. Somebody says the the body. Karana, you're onto something here. Okay, so let's talk about the structure then. The body is one part of the structure. The body. There are three main sections to the structure. Karana says body. What are the other two? Anybody? Any? The, title, the introductory paragraph and the concluding paragraph. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's let's check back on that again. You said the introduction. Did yes, I hear yes. Right. Yes. And then the body. And then the conclusion. The introduction. Can anybody tell me about the introduction? I know you are bright students, you know, and you yes. have been doing English at class in classes. Yes, what's the introduction? Yes. The introduction is basically what we talk about in this essay. Does it tell you what going on, what about the letter is? Just a sec. Oh, the sound is not so clear. I don't know if it's my laptop or anything else. All right. So I have How to be listening very carefully. Started. Pardon me? How the sentence starts. The introduction. OK. So the introduction. All right, let me let me read something. You're, you're, you're going on the right right track. I'll just I'll just help you along. That's what I'll be here for. Okay. All right. Really nice. Um, I, see some hands. I see some hands as well. So okay, like div divine. Divine, you want to? Yes, miss. Miss, I was saying that the introductory paragraph is a brief detail on what will be discussed in the rest of the essay. Great, very well done. It's, say it again, Divine. The introductory paragraph is a brief um, explanation or conclusion of what the essay will have in it. Right, you, you have that very clearly, a brief introduction of what you're going to be talking about in the essay. I must pre um, paraphrase you. All right, thanks Divine. Shamar. Shamar, your hand is up. Shamar? Okay, all right. Someone else says, it, it's, it, greets, it greets the user and introduces the topic. Um, I see Shamar writing now introduces what the speaker will be speaking about and gives a clear picture of the writer's idea. Very good, Shamar. You're all sounding like winners right now, all right? So in this essay, you are going to be telling, to, to be writing so that whoever is reading it, Mr. Jarrett or myself or anyone else, once we read through that introduction, we know where you're going. Right? Or it should give us an idea of what you are going to write, write about, the tone you're going to take, or the position you're going to take, whether you're going to be just informing or persuading or what. Understood? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Any more yes, explanation yes, needed for introduction? No? No, Can miss. Okay, great. Great. All right. Good to really have you chipping in and telling me what you know and helping to teach the others too. Very nice. All right. The body, 
after you've had your introduction now, you're going to come to the body. And the body is really the heart. Structure. Yes. Structure. <laughs> yeah, the, truck, the structure really started with the introduction, but you're coming down to the second part now, which is the body. All right. So what do you have in the body? Can you describe to me how you proceed into the body of the essay? Miss Marcos? What makes up the body then? To make it easier. Um, the a character can make up the body. Hmm. Character. That okay, yes, you can have building up of a character, but in, in this essay, that is more like a descriptive essay. This essay is not going to be a descriptive essay, right? It's going to be probably what you call an expository essay, which doesn't deal a lot with characters, right? It can, but that's not the main feature of this type of essay. So let me let me pose a question again. Um, or Karan, Karana, you want to answer? It's like leading like the reader through your ideas that you introduce. Yes. Okay, thank you, Karana. Nikelia? Nikelia? Hello, Nikelia, where are you? Okay, let me see what's in the chat in the meantime. All right, L JJ, JJ says ideas, points, and reasons as to why you agree or disagree with the topic. They're on to a good thing, JJ, thank you. Um, somebody else, what makes up a paragraph, the topic sentence, the supportive sentence, and the closing sentence? Kamisha, apparently Mr. Sweeney might have to call on one of you guys to do this thing next year because you are doing so well. In the body, you will speak more about the topics you talked about in the thesis statement. That's Athena, very good, very good. I mean, I don't know how this prize is going to share because you guys know something here. All right, thank you very much, guys. So the body is made up of sentences and paragraphs, right? And like JJ says, these sentences and paragraphs would deal with your points, your ideas, and the reasons why you agree or disagree, right? And somebody else, Kamisha says, the sentence that's the topic sentences and the supporting sentences that make up your paragraph. So here's the thing, we're talking about structure. We're talking about organizing and yes, you are pulling it together here. Um, if you have a point from the time you're doing the draft, right? And getting your ideas together, you should know what your three, at least three main ideas are going to be. Am I correct? Right? Yes, miss. Yes, no, miss. No, no, no. All right. So when you get to the body now, this is where you're going to organize your your, your ideas, your three main ideas. So idea one, idea one might be, I don't want to give it away, but idea one might be, my parents don't always listen to me. I mean, that's a main idea. And you are going to write about why you think your parents don't listen to you, right? Or why you don't listen to them or something, but you're going to build up your sentence structure with a main sentence, tell some more about it, and then you move on to your next point. When you feel you have said what you need to say about your, your topic sentence, your first main idea and its topic sentence, then you go on to the next one in another paragraph. Yes or yes? Yes. Yes, miss. Okay, great. You 
can sometimes you can put your yes in the chat if you don't want to speak out. Yeah, but we're I think we're doing fine so far. All right, so let's talk a little bit about sentences. You have to be very careful and selective about your the words you put in your sentences and the quality of your sentence. Sometimes some people start writing and they start out very nicely, one, two, three, four, five, six words, and then they just keep on writing. No full stop, no comma, and they, they run right into another idea. We should have stopped at a point. No, we call that kind of a sentence a run-on sentence. And it, 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 it detracts from your structure when your sentence is not properly formulated and, and put in a nice, neat order to say clearly what you mean. And I will go back to the draft from time to time too. That sometimes that's why you need a draft because when you read it over, you will see that, oh no, this sentence don't sound right. This sentence probably need a full stop here and I start here again. Are you with me? Yes, miss. Yes, yes the chat. Yes, yes on miss. <laughs> okay, so your sentence structure must, must um, be a part of the whole thing. And when you just hop in and start writing, 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 and at the risk of repeating myself again, if you're not well talented and can write very well, it doesn't work. You have to do the plan. You have to go over. You have to see. That's that's how you win money, big money, and tablet and all them things. All right. So be careful of your sentences and your paragraphs. Now, in an essay like this, I think Mr. Sweeney and so on, they give you a number, a number, the number of words. So it's not a very long essay. So if I were you, I would choose at least three points and have three paragraphs in the body. Suppose you want to do more, go ahead if you have all that information. But frankly, I don't think it would need more than three. So get three good points that you want to elaborate on and do at least, at least three paragraphs, all right? <clears throat> no, that should... Um, make up to the structure to, to that point. I, I can't remember the names, but somebody spoke to the third piece in the essay, which is the conclusion. And before I go to the conclusion, any questions you have on the body or anything you need to point out that I might not have missed? Might have missed no, miss. Because... <laughs> There's no, a miss. lot, you know? There's a lot of things in there. Some, some of you are well ahead at, in classes, but I'm sure some people are not so well ahead. So I'll, I'll still ask again, any questions you might, you might have? Anyone? There are many persons online. Let's see if we can clear up anything and put, your, put you on the path to being one of the winners. Onik? No? I'm just speaking on names that I see. Kenise? Okay, so you are fine so far then. No problem? All right, give me thumbs up if, if you don't have any problem at all with what I'm saying. Thumbs up in the chat. Is it can I repeat what I said? Yeah? If you can I repeat what I said. Okay, I'm saying to you, all right, so we, we, we are on the structure. We've done the introduction. Um, we've just run through the, the body and now we are at the conclusion. But before we take on the conclusion, I was saying, is there anything, anybody, any bright student wants to add or anybody who might want to understand some more? If, if there's any such person or persons, just let me know. And if not, no problem. We can go, on, go right along. Do I take it you are good then? Listen, <laughs> it's good to ask questions. It's better to ask a question and be thought of as an odd person than to not ask and not know. 
Ever heard that before? No, miss. Yes, miss. And I also heard something similar that Marcel to tells me that better than I don't want it and have it than need it and don't have it. Right. You always have the option to say your piece, to add something, or to ask something that you don't know. And when the opportunity is past, it pass and gone. All right. So, divine. Let me move along. Um, divine says your conclusion conclude. Your, okay, it should be your concluding paragraph should logically logically conclude your essay. Just like your concluding sentences logically conclude your body paragraphs. The conclusion, concluding paragraph should begin by restating your thesis, and then you should broaden back out to a general topic and with a closing sentence. Ah, divine. Um, that's, that says it. That says it. Um, you have passed through the body, right? Your three are so paragraph, and now you are at the conclusion. No, the conclusion should actually focus on the main points, main point or main points that you have already written. So the conclusion is a sort of summary, a restatement, probably in some different similar words than the one that, that what you have written already. So your conclusion now becomes a restating of your main thesis, your main point. So Miss, what you're saying that the concluding um, paragraph is just a, like a wrap-up paragraph summarizing everything that was already in the essay. Yes. Choose, you don't want to put back everything in your conclusion or as you start writing another essay again. What you want to do is do it in a summary form. You know what a summary form is? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Okay. So the paragraph, the, this is a paragraph. The conclusion is usually only one paragraph and it sums up and ends the essay. You can restate your main points in different words and end it with a call to action. What is a call to action? A call to action is what you want the persons you're writing to, to do. What do I want you to do to facilitate me by listening to me, right? So that's a call to action. From, from now on, I would like you to, you know? And based on what I have written, it would be good if you can, or something to that effect. The point I'm making is that you are now, the call to action, you are now suggesting to the reader what you want them to do to facilitate you going forward. Understood? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, there isn't much more to it without going very deep into sentences and that sort of a thing. So you want to, you want to I, say something about the rubric? The what? The the marking guide, the rubric. Okay, all right. We, we'll get to that then. Since I wasn't thinking of that, but we're coming to do it. Yeah. All right. Um. All right, before we go, we've been with the structure, the introduction, body, conclusion. Um, what is it I had in mind again? Uh, once, you, once you get to your conclusion, it's no time to do some, I'm going to ask you to make a note of the checklist of the things to check back on to make sure you have them accurately. And the checklist, the checklist would be correct spelling. Because when we, when we check for grammar, we're checking for correct so things such as correct spelling. Then we have correct grammar. Number two, have you, are you noting them down, the checklist after you finish your essay? 
Yes. Let me see. We pick on some names now. Marcos. Avon. Yes, Miss. You're, you're making your checklist. Check for correct spelling one. Check for correct grammar two. And when we talk about correct grammar, we're talking about like your subject verb agreement. Right? That is not new subject verb agreement. You all know about that? Yes, Miss. Yes, <laughs> I'm only hearing mm -hmm. one voice. Mm -hmm. huh? Everybody, yes, everybody. Miss. Huh? Okay, good. And your sentence construction. Remember, I told you about um, the third thing, sentence construction. Remember, I told you about um, choosing your words. Be careful about choose your choice of words and the meanings. And we're not looking for big words. We just want to know, understand what you are saying very clearly. So. Be careful about that. And another thing, some people skip and jump all over the place and don't punctuate. So you need to check in on your punctuation. So the checklist, come, come with me now, the checklist. One, am I losing you? Why have I spelling. you? <laughs> the checklist, number one, I said was? Correct spelling. Correct grammar. Correct grammar. Two, very good. Next. Subject verb agreement. Yeah, we, we said, oh, when we said grammar, I made like I made an example like subject verb agreement. That comes in the grammar there. And then number three, we had sentence construction, your choice of words and not doing the run-on sentence thing, you know, be concise, be clear. And the last one I said was PPP. Punctuation. Punctuation. You know where to put your full stops and your commas and any other punctuation, but particularly those. All right. So we are almost at the end. No. How are you rated? All right. How, how do we come to picking out the best essay? What are we looking for? All right. That's what Mr. Sweeney referred to a while ago. Relevance. Relevance to the topic. Anybody can give me some kind of a meaning for relevance? Hey, Tan. I'm just speaking on somebody. Anybody know what relevance is? Making sense. Hmm? Making sense. Anybody else? When we're going to do the essay. Say that again. When we're going to do the essay. When you're going to do the essay. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Restating the main topic. It has to be connected to the topic in some way. Connection. Is that Tyreek? Yes, please. Okay, all right. Relevance. Relevance means keep connected to the topic. Whatever you're saying must be relevant to the topic. Don't get carried away. So when we look for relevance, we are looking how you keep connecting back to the topic. If it goes away from the topic and doesn't have anything to do with the topic and the meaning of the topic, then you're going to get marked down, all right? So we want to keep a focus on the intent of the topic, all right? So that's one, we mark you for relevance and that gets the bulk of the points, just 60%. You see how important that is? If you're not sure about what relevance is, you can also look it up, Google it, look in your dictionary, but make sure because that's a big part of the marks. All right, so the next one is, what we look for is how you organize the essay and that's organization and that's 20 points. 60 and 20, that makes up 80% already. So 
We talked about organization, your paragraphs, your sentence structure and paragraph and so on. So be aware of that. And the last thing we, we mark for is the grammar. Subject, word, agreement, sentence, and so on. Um, not sense, not sentence, it tense. Whether you're, you're keeping to your tense structure, are you writing in the present tense or the past tense? You know, that sort of a thing. So that's 20%. So 60 for relevance, 20 for organization, and 20 for grammar. That makes up 100%. Yes, dear? Somebody was saying something. Hello? I'm listening. Questions? Don't go shy on me at the end. Are you done with me already? Hello? Uh, my voice, I think, has, has held up very well because I'm having, I'm fighting a flu, really. My voice is kind of on the smoky side. Um, doing good. Doing good. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sweetie. All right, I'm going. I'm going in the chat again, and I see people saying yes, yes, Miss. Yes. Okay. You you seem you seem. All right. There were things I wasn't even seeing that you were writing in. So, okay. Miss. Right. right, I see a lot of yeses. So I'm going to take it that you basically understand and know about the essay, right? It's just to see now who's going to be the king or the queen who comes out on top to hold your 10,000, your tablet, or your 7,000, um, you know? Once prizes are there, you got to make big effort, right? And go for it. Listen up and win. All right. Miss, is it um possible to send um by the SA poster in the group, Miss? Yes, okay. Is it possible to send by the SA poster in the group, Miss? Um, so I can, think Mr. Mr. Jarrett. Mr. Jarrett and Mr. Sweeney? Yes, we can resend it. That will, be, that will be done. That will be done. OK. Uh, thanks. And we will make this outline available as well. All right. Any other questions? All right. Um, any other questions going once? No <laughs> mm -hmm. and gone. All right. So I guess if you have any questions, you could still ask Mr. Jarrett or Mr. Sweeney. I one of the Grace and Staff ladies who you know you see at homework centers more often than not. Um because I think I'll be coming. Only be contact in contact again when we are marking the essays and I'm looking out. I want to see essays that we can't even figure too easily. <laughs> you know, competitive essays. Every kind of bossy brain to say, okay, this one is a winner. Yeah. This one is mm -hmm. a winner. This one is a winner. And we can, yeah. you know, all, all winning, right. All winning essays. Okay, so thank you very much for listening to me and I wish you all the best.